Hello, my fellow Americans. Tis I, the rumpled one. Oh, man, Donald Trump. They just keep trying to knock him down. Okay, he said that he can't get a fair trial with the Mexican judge. Oh, the media is just going crazy. Donald Trump's a racist. I mean, really? Come on. Let's look at the big picture here. The media doesn't tell the whole story because what I heard on some of the talk radio, now I haven't researched it, so this is only hearsay. I don't know if it's true, but this judge has either contributed to or is uh, somehow supporting of La Raza, which is kind of a radical, you know, Hispanic group. Well, come on. If you support that, how can, you know, you're going to give Trump a fair hearing? I don't think so. And then they say, well, what if it was a Muslim judge? No, I don't think so either. Why? Because Trump wants to, you know, not allow Muslims in the country until they can be vetted. So how could, how could, he, how could a Muslim judge be unbiased? I mean, you know, they make, the thing that Trump is exposing is just all the hypocrisy and all the BS that goes on in the media, how... He's saying things that most people think, or a lot of people think, we'll find out if it's most come November election, but the thing is, it's like this stuff is real. I mean, you got Hillary on the other hand, you know, not giving records to the government, lying, I mean, like he says, crooked Hillary. I mean, come on, how dumb do they think we are? And then we got Obama, who's out there now, you know, talking about Donald Trump. I mean, really? The liar-in-chief is going to talk about Donald Trump? I mean, it's crazy. I mean, the things Obama and Hillary and Bernie Sanders, I mean, these guys are just socialists to the core. I mean, it's, it's, it's D-Day. You know, my father wasn't in World War II fighting for socialism. He wasn't. He's was fighting against it. You know, I mean, it's like this country has really lost its collective mind. I mean, there's just so many things that, that the media is focusing on that is, that's just not important. I mean, they're, they're, all these social issues that are these minor issues, these minor distractions, rather than looking at the things that Donald Trump's looking at, you know, like securing the border, you know, like I said, making America great again. You know, somebody says, well... Was it ever great? Well, you know, we can debate that all day and all night. I mean, it just depends on, you know, uh, on a few things, whether or not you thought America was great. That being said, if you look at history, I mean, you know, the country, people here, we've done a lot. You know, we've done things no other countries have done. You know, it, you know, our, look at the technology. Look you know, in medicine, science, just look at all the developments that have come out of America, the inventions, I mean, come on. But we've got a media that has forgotten what it is to report the truth. They've forgotten their job. I mean, what, Katie Couric doctoring that video? And she should be, she should be fired. Why, why does she still have her job? I mean, and Hillary, all the things she hit in the White House, and now we've got this guy who was, a, I guess, worked on, on the uh, White House details coming out with a book to, you know, expose some of the things that she's done. And really, she thinks she's fit to be president, that she's got the, the emotional stability to be president, have her finger on the button. Well, we've already seen her response and how she handled Benghazi. I mean, come on, people. It's like, do the math. It's right there. It's crystal clear. You know, and they just keep trying to beat up on Trump on these issues. But I don't think, but I could be wrong, but I don't think the American people are going to buy into it. You know, they're tired of, of politics as usual. They're tired of the media reporting as usual. And I just don't think that people are going to take it. 
I mean, you know, we got Bernie Sanders on the one hand, who's exposing the, you know, the deeds of the uh, Democratic elite. We've got Trump, who's already exposed what's going on with the Republican elite. And both of them want to take Trump down, which is really funny. I mean, the one guy who's talking common sense, who's speaking the truth, who wants to talk about the issues, you know, he wants to build a wall. Well, let's call him a racist. No, let's talk about the wall. Let's talk about the immigration problem. Let's talk about what really needs to happen, which is not giving a bunch of illegals amnesty. It's not giving a bunch of illegals, you know, rights. No, it's getting, it's, you know, shipping them out of the country because they don't belong here. They're not here legally. And then... We've got Obama who wants to bring in all these Syrian refugees who we can't vet them. It's already, they've already said that they're going to infiltrate. And meanwhile, we've got vets who are homeless, vets who need medical attention. But what's Obama and the VA talking about? Transgender operations for vets. It's just like, are you freaking kidding me? The, these guys have been dr drinking the Obama aid for so long, I don't think they have two active brain cells anymore. You, transgender operations for veterans. This is what they're going to pay attention to? Uh, not to mention the other Senate hearings. I think I might already said it, you know. Senate he hearings on fantasy sports. Really? That's what you're focusing on when you got 95 million Americans out of work who don't even show up? It's just absolutely crazy what's going on. So, my fellow Americans, it's up to you. If you want things to go the way they're going, just vote for the Democrat. If you want things to change, you vote for Trump. I mean, it's crystal clear. Do we want common sense, Trump, or do we want nonsense? And just calling somebody a racist and a bigot because you don't agree with his policies or you don't agree with something that he said because it offends you, it's just like, give me a break. I mean... Do we want political correctness, or do we want to get the job done? I mean, people have become hypersensitive, and I don't even think that's a strong enough character characterization of what's going on. They get offended by the least little thing, and we're supposed to coddle them. No. It's supposed to be a rugged American, you know? The, I can do it. The, hey, you know... Just get out of, you know, give me a chance, get out of my way and let me go. But no, now it's just like, oh, that's offensive. Let's make new laws. My fellow Americans, please wake up and smell the tyranny.